Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to talk about how ESO is changing in a good way in 2023. Here's my opinion on the studio director's letter. I'll put the link in the description. Basically, they're moving away from the year long storyline, which is a good thing. So my pain point with ESO is and has been for a while that new content, especially in the second half of the year, doesn't generate hype but it actually generates disappointment and hate. And that's almost an, an achievement on its own, really. Like, whenever they release new content, all people talk about is the annoying, stupid combat changes and the box, right? And then everybody gets disappointed and just goes plays, like they just go play other games. And that should not be happening. If there is new content, you should be excited. Like there should be hype around it. So you want to play. And that's not the case with ESO. So it looks like they want to push out less content, but higher quality. And that's a good thing. Q1 Dungeon DLC, Q2 Chapter. First half of the year has always been good, in my opinion. The second half of the year where they're changing things up and that's a good thing. Q3, focus on quality of life and bug fixes. To be fair, we have already gotten a lot of quality of life improvements. There has been a lot of good changes in the game that made the game better. Bug fixes, dangerous word, fix one bug, create two new ones. Now Q4. Instead of the zone DLC, we get a new system that could be maybe a new skill line, maybe romancing option for your companions or like spellcrafting. I'm just kidding. Maybe something like that, right? That gets people excited. We will see what that is in the global reveal event. But yeah, my main pain point, like whenever they release content, it's just accompanied by really bad combat changes and bugs. And that really, like, shouldn't happen. Because that's all people will talk about. Then just nobody is hyped. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you actually think about this. I do really like it. In case you're wondering what I've been up to, because I haven't really pushed out a lot of videos. Once we get information on the new year... Like what's going to happen in 2023, I will start doing more videos again, obviously. But basically, in focusing on AlcasHQ.com with the builds, yes, so hub, this site is growing a lot and we put, up, put in a lot of work this year. And we also worked on other games like Dark Tide, where we have our like own website. And to our surprise, like we actually built this and the developers of the dark type game actually put our site in the launcher, which was a very welcoming surprise. And the, the user base skyrocketed up a lot. So that was also amazing to see. So I'm just more focusing on websites second half of the year, because like I just said, ESO just doesn't offer a lot during Q3 and Q4. Maybe that will change next year, but we will see. Yeah. So I will be back to doing more videos once we actually get interesting things to talk about. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.